But um, the reason why people are able to like other countries and hunt certain animals is mainly due to population control, and it's a good thing because you there's um. I can get people who just preach veganism on hardcore. Neither do I because, like, I want to know. I want to know if there's ever been a situation in which meat sales have actually been hurt by veganism. Because I feel like it isn't, and there's no reason why it should ever be. You know what I mean? It's like, people love meat. They're going to eat meat no matter what. I, like, it's not going to hurt the company if a, a vocal minority, they're vocal, they're very vocal, but they're also a minority, and there's no reason to actually listen to them, you know. <laughs> well, think of it this way. You're, you're... I just went through you. Why did I just forget that you existed? Fucking lizard monster. Um, you have a million dollar corporation. And you're worrying about sales from a million different people. If, like, a hundred of those people are yelling, We don't like meat. Then you'll be like, well... Looks like I'm not getting, uh, service from these people. It's insane. These people are just actually insane if they think they, they just, um, they're so important they can change, um, they can change, uh, human nature. Plus, we're meant to eat meat. We're animals. Lights are off. Gamer mode is on. I enable dark mode in my room. Like a real gamer. So, the hole over here, we're going to go through it. The one we were uh, working on earlier. <laughs> um... I just think, as humans, we are animals, and meat is too important not to eat. Yeah, it's weird. There's so many people that really do use it unironically, and that to me is very uncomforting. There's a lot of things people do that's very uncomforting, and you like you hear about it, and you're like, "Well, these people obviously these people are joking," and they're not. And to me, that's just insane. Like, the fact that there are Logan Paul and Big Paul fans. To me, that's insane. Yeah, I'll go down. Humans are animals, though.
like it's like it's insane like we we evolved along with it's maybe a theory but we don't uh, evolved along with other animals that doesn't make us special and not different from other animals it just means we're the most uh developed and evolved current versions of ourselves in a few million years there's gonna be other um animals that evolved uh differently and more advanced than us unless we stunt their growth and we force them to stay as they are well it's a to be fair the camera angles in this game it's a two, game from 2004 and it's a shot for shot remake of a game from 1998 i can't get out i have tried every possible way to escape but the only to be, to be only be faced with the reality that i'm trapped i've been everywhere the laboratory, the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde, and those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, that was like a reflex. One name came to mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No. I can't give up hope. I have to be uh, hope they are alive. I haven't had any thing to eat or drink in the past few days i feel like i'm going crazy why is this happening to me why do i have to die like this i was way too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion i have known better should have known better it was a dark and damp underground tunnel that, and another dead end but even darkness suddenly caught my eye carefully i lit my last match i had to see what it was a grave a deeply engraved, but deeply engraved to the stone with my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I die here, and I fell right into the trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything's becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. Jim's Jablinski games. <laughs> oh man. I love Jack Black. That was so great of him to do that. I love the irony. <laughs> Dabbling Jables. Poison again. All right, cool. <laughs> I feel you. First time I played this game, I was a kid. I was like... It came out in 98, but I didn't play it until the remake came out, so that was 2004. That was 15 years ago. I was 10. 9 or 10. This is one of the first games I ever, like, noped out of. Come on, uh, come on, you sick bastards.
what's his name? Oh, it's functioning again? Good. Oh, good, I'm glad. You haven't played a single Nintendo game? That's fair. I didn't... Well, I mean... I unknowingly played Nintendo games. When I was growing up, I played Pokemon. I played a Nintendo game or two on the original. Uh, but, um... Okay, I think he was dead. Well, they appeal to both Eastern and Western audiences, like Asian and American. Not including, obviously, the offshoots like Mexico, Canada, and all those other things. But, yeah, they do. Dude, scary. Dude, I got your arm. That fucking hurt. Oh, okay. Off, dude. We didn't have a single Nintendo commercial on the TV ever. Yes, that makes sense because they are very picky with their marketing. Nintendo is a very deliberate company, and they everything they do is like very focal. Um. And that's something I respect. Kind of? I will kind of agree with that statement. That's great. Um, well, you know, Nintendo's been around for, I think, 150 years? Like, well over 100 years. And they weren't always, obviously they weren't making video games, they were making other types of products before that. So, what they learned was how to sell to what their audience wanted. Yes, that's, they, um, they did claim, uh, well, they still do. Anytime you make a Nintendo video, they can quote unquote claim it, um, which sucks because they, what they're doing is 
they're trying to Disneyfy themselves where they don't want their brand to be tarnished by having their name, any of their games associated with anyone else. Like that they're not approved of. So their solution is kind of a give and take solution. You get what I'm saying? They uh they're like, okay, yeah, you can stream you can stream our um you can do a let's play of our game, but uh, we want a, a higher cut of it, you know. And I'm like, really? You know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna have to fight this uh, snake boss. So where is Um, they didn't actually care until the Let's Play community got so big. And to me, it's like, go fuck yourselves. Because they're like, really, they were really scummy about it. God, please. I should proxize a lifesaver? Indubitably. Hydrogen peroxide has so many uses to it. I feel like that's that burns like a lot. push that the new resident evil 2 remake though um it doesn't look like it follows a lot of the um camera angles that this does it's like set camera angles Oh my god! I got stun locked! I actually got stun locked! Two deaths! Two fucking deaths! I'm so glad I saved where I saved. Oh my god. Irritating. <laughs> you mean zero deaths?
fix my voice? Does it sound bad? Oh, uh, maybe if I make some weird sounds. Maybe I make some deep throwing sounds. All right, take three, boys. Maybe my balls finally dropped. Yeah, why is that? What's your funny? <laughs> well, there's not many exclamations to it. Explanations to it. No, that's fine. Um... You follow me on uh, Twitch for my shitty um... video game streams. I'm gonna be much more aggressive with saves though. Because I do not want to die a third time and lose all my progress. I was so glad that I saved. I'm not gonna have to deal with that again. Alright, where's the second guy? Come on, dude. Come on. Cool. Also, how many fucking daggers can one man carry? I only have one. Never mind. You know, I used to think, like, um, I'm not used to it, I kind of still think that. Um, a lot of giveaways are kind of, feel, feels kind of like scams. Um, I was in high school, and I don't know if your high school had senior dues where you had to pay for your gown and, and uh, access to, uh, like a... And had the ability to go on, like, a trip. But, um, I... I went to a, a meeting, like a, not like a exclusive meeting with me and like a principal. It was like, it was a, what do you call it? Assembly. 
went to an assembly and um and I was like in the middle of roasting this I was talking to my friends, I was like, Yeah, this thing's a fucking piece of shit. They already know who they're gonna pick out and this is all just for show. And that's why you always see like the pristine kids get it. And as I'm saying all this, I hear Michael Moore do the, do the thing and I'm like, What the fuck? Did you just say my name? That was so funny. I fucking loved it. Have you really?